Hello and welcome to the Dango's Outdoors YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my video today. And yeah, I'm starting it in the shed because when we go fishing, we're only gonna have maybe two hours, possibly three. We're gonna go out for a really short canal session. Hopefully just get some little perch, roach, something like that, maybe a bonus fish, like a bigger perch or an eel. Uh, the reason we've not got a lot of time is because we've got a special guest coming with us today and we're really fussy. So yeah, we're not gonna have long out there. So what I thought I'd do is get everything ready as much as I can before I go, which means doing the intro in the shed. So when we get there, we can just set up and get going. So what I'm gonna do now is just knock up a tiny bit of ground bait. We're gonna buy a pint of maggots. I've got some worms. I'm gonna get a float rod and a quiver tip rod going and a general tactic when we're there will be to have a float rod out that we can then um, just ping a few maggots and things over and then maybe put a worm out on like a bonus rod with uh, an alarm and everything. Oh, helicopter going over. Get it, I'll have to get my app out and track it. <laughs> a bit of a nerd like that. But yeah, I've got a bit of bit of jobs to do here, get the car sorted, but we'll pop in the house, meet our special guest and hopefully get on that bank and catch a fish or two. There it is, so we've got a Airbus helicopter, a Juno HT-1 from the Defence Helicopter Flying School. Because there's an army base up there. That's pretty cool. So that'd be someone learning, I guess. Earn while you learn, that's what I say. Okay, well that's the car loaded. Bit different packing it this time because of all of the requirements of our special guest, you know, but we'll go inside and we'll meet them now. They've literally never been fishing before. I mean, I don't know how you get to their age and still have not caught a fish, but we'll find out. Let's get in there, see what sort of mood they're in. I'm gonna tell you the house is an absolute mess, but I don't care because as you'll soon find out, we've had no time to do anything. But yeah, let's see if this uh, celebrity in the making is around or not. Oh, <laughs> there he is, old lemon head. <laughs> nah, this is, oh, here he goes. This is my son, Stanley. <laughs> He's a week old today. He was born at half two in the morning on the 18th of April. And yeah, we're a week in now. And I think it's time you hit the bank. <laughs> this, uh, this channel's not about emotional, gender reveals and all that sort of thing but I thought it'd be quite nice to take him to the canal because it's where I caught my first uh, UK coarse fish and um, also it's quite convenient because we can park close to a couple of the swims so can come along and if she does need to run to the car if in fact we just need to run and go home we can do that uh, there was a match on yesterday one of the lads caught I think he said 94 small roach so yeah, let's hope we get something, but here he is. <laughs> All right, Stan, how are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, looks are deceiving. This guy has had us up <laughs> all night. <laughs> yeah. Ready to go fishing? Yeah, I'm ready to go fishing. <laughs> right, we've still got a lot of stuff to get ready because um, yeah, I've never had to factor a trip around this guy and his feeding habits. <laughs> so just getting everything sorted. So she'll be along, but yeah. Let's get out there and get it done. There we go, we are ready to leave. We have been in and out of the house about three times getting all stuff that we've forgotten. But we're finally all sorted. Passenger airbag is off before you all start smashing your keyboards. Soph's in the back and Stanley is lovely and happy in his little seat there first stop will be the tackle shop get a pint of maggots it's half one now if we fish until maybe four or so i think we'll be lucky but man <laughs> let's catch some fish let's go <laughs> first so i've just pulled up and uh, i've gone for a little bit of a walk and i know it's not exactly good angling form but i am just going to go in the closest spot it's the widest and 
flattest bit I can find. So the plan is I'm gonna get all my kit out, go set up, and Soph's gonna bring young Stanley out and uh, just take care of a little bit of dirty business first, if, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Well, I was just doing a time lapse of me getting my stuff set up and uh, I've got my ledger rod sorted. But Soph said that they're all ready, so why don't we do a time lapse of getting <laughs> Stanley ready? <laughs> why not? Let's see what it all takes. It's amazing because it's nearly three o'clock and this is honestly the earliest we could have left. It's incredible how long things take. <laughs> oh, there he is. He wants a feed. <laughs> he wants a feed. No. We'll, we'll just... get him over there and then we'll feed him. Good. Okay, we are all set up. I'm gonna put my ledger rod out on a worm and then I'll play around my float rod, find the depth, get some maggots out there. But so far, so good, other than Dad has forgot the waterproof cover to go over the pram. But I've got my brolly and the car's only there, so yeah, <laughs> let's not panic. All good. <laughs> all good. So our first rod going in, little ledger rig there, worm tipped with a red maggot, and I'm just gonna cast this around kind of to our left, get it away from the disturbance we're causing. And with a bit of luck, this will catch us perhaps a bonus bigger perch or a eel or a dace chub, whatever. <laughs> Put that on alarm and maybe cast it every 20 minutes or so. I just spent a while getting our float set up. It's a fairly standard insert waggler rig. The canal's surprisingly deep in this little bit here, but I think that could be good, give the fish a bit of cover. And uh, yeah, if I do catch a few fish on it, I'll, I'll show you in more detail. So I'm gonna have a few casts without feeding the swim, because there's quite a lot of tow on. And I wanna see where everything's ending up and settling. There's no point feeding now and have oh, still fish showing to my right. No point feeding now and then finding that actually where I fed is not where things are sort of settling and ending up. So we'll just, we'll just give it a go. <laughs> Here it comes. Took a little while. Oh, yes. Oh my God. Check it out. I just mentioned to so because I recast my left rod, I said, oh, this is when your float goes and then you miss it. And of course the float went, but I didn't miss it. There it is, a lovely roach. Stanley's just having a feed, so I'm glad he's up. Can we get a picture of him? Of course we can. Yay, your first fish, Stanley. Come on, stand on. Well done. Little nice. roach from the canal. Now, this is quite poignant because I caught my first uh, UK freshwater fish just a few hundred yards up that way. And uh, I remember on that first session I caught, it was either free perch and a roach or free roach and a perch. I can't remember which way around it was annoyingly. So it's great, but we get to film Stan's first session out. Yay! Nice. Exciting. You interested, Stan? He ain't looking at all, right? We'll put this fish in the net. We'll get some <laughs> pictures with uh, me and Stan and the fish. Yay! Yes, filming. Woo, woo, woo. Just tucking into my sausage roll. And there's another nice roach. Quite fat here, aren't they? Eating well. Yeah. Lovely little guy. What do you That's think? It's nice and orange. Stan bothered? No, no he's fast asleep. <laughs> Sleepy Stanley. Those aren't his arms, by the way. <laughs> he's all curled up. <laughs> Two. 
wisely. There's one on the um, on a big rod. Big rod. I've got that camera going. Yes, get in. Oh, could oh, this be Ian Beale? Jag, jag, jag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Or maybe not. Oh, That's God. no eel. That That's is no not. eel. Oh, it's quite it's a big, big perch. Fish. It's a big perch. It's a massive perch. A oh big... my God, it's a massive perch. Oh my God, it's, it's, it's a huge, huge perch. We have to land this. We have to land this. <laughs> oh my God. I can see it. Do not come off. This is a big perch. I can't believe this. This is a monstrous perch. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Do not come off, it's a barbless hook. Oh my God. This cannot come off, this cannot come off. Look at that. God. Oh my God. Look at the big bird. Come on. Stanley. <laughs> Good Lord! Is that quite a big one? That's a massive perch of the canal. Come on! <laughs> wow! Get this blow rod out of the way. He's fast asleep. Does <laughs> not give a damn. We're gonna have to weigh it and everything. This one, this is big. Well, this is incredible. I was just um, getting the odd roach bite, and I just looked at my rod tip. Went, mm. And I thought, oh, here we go. And I thought, oh, this could be our eel. And it started running. I'm like, ah, eels don't do that, you know. And it's, uh... <laughs> but that's a clonking canal perch. Oh, good lord. <laughs> yes. Here it is. So this is why you always bring a... the hook's falling out. <laughs> This is why you always bring a sling, a mat and some scales, no matter what you're doing, because you just never know. Wow, this is huge. easily my biggest canal perch, easily. Got there you one. go, that's your personal best. Oh yeah, we said that and I said, oh, getting a right tangle. That's it? Yeah, Soph did say, imagine if you catch a PB today and I thought, it's not likely, like, you may get a good uh, eel or something. Here we go. Fit itself into a sling for me. I don't know if it's two pounds, but it might be pound ten. The old shampoo fish for pound ten. <laughs> Not yet that one before. No, I haven't. Two seven, two pound seven. So it's actually a really big fish. What was that noise? I think it was a bird oh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not used to having people with me. I'm just like, what's going on? An audience. Two pound seven. Two pound seven, Stanley. Goodness. Considering if that was a cat, it'd be about thirty odd pounds in terms of percentages of the record. That's enormous. Wow. Can you get his picture on my phone? Yeah, of course you can. Look at that. I'll get a, I'll get a better so view. Let's try to do the fin. Hang on. That's the classic, you get that fin up. You ready? Yeah. Do you want the bridge in it? Yeah, yeah, we'll try and go like that way. I'll try and hold him sort of like that. That's better. Got it. Lovely. 
show the guys in properly. Really nice because I've been catching a lot of commercial perch this winter and they just don't quite have the same vivid bars and the red isn't as deep. Just look at that. You seen that red back? Yeah, it's, it's lovely. incredible. Should we get a picture of just the fish? Yeah. Wow. Get, get his fin up. Do like that. Look. Oh, wow, look at that spike in the fin. I'm amazed every time at just how in the UK we have fish for look like this you'd think that'd be in a coral reef somewhere <laughs> right, i'm going to put the fish back in the net and try and get a picture with stanley <laughs> and then give it a, a good release spanked me then well this fish has made today proper worth it look at that <laughs> that's monstrous Two seven. Oh, <laughs> well, since it's worked, let's see the rig. And if you've been um, following my fishing this winter, I've done a bit of commercial perch fishing, had fish to uh, three pound seven. So yeah, it does work. It's kind of like a scaled down version of that. So we've got the same running weight there. A uh, little quick change matchman's bead there to collect the main line to the hook link. If I was on one of my commercials really targeting perch, I'd have about two foot of hook link on. But because of the risk of eels, <laughs> I've only got maybe 10 inches because I don't want it too long. I don't want the eels to be able to move it around too much and swallow it. So a bit shorter with a barbless size 10. And uh, all that I did was put on a worm and tip it with a red maggot. Let's show you that now. Go, yeah, that's a worm on. Grab a red maggot. It's kind of universally accepted that perch and predators in general do seem to target red. So putting that maggot on gives them something to aim for, but also keeps the worm on because I'm using barbless. Before I cast, just nip the tail off. Bit of extra scent out there. And well, <laughs> it works. That is a, a new PB, my personal best canal perch <laughs> if i caught that when i was like nine ten years old fishing here you wouldn't have been able to shut me up for well probably the rest of my life i mean i don't shut up now really do i so there you go <laughs> your mum says good perch and good toddlers good toddlers what's that mean tiddlers you might probably meant to say oh right So I actually cast that one straight down the main track. I was putting it kind of over by the far bank, but nothing had happened. So we'll just we'll just do that again. Rinse and repeat. Down the main. Boom. And I just spoke to a match angler who fished down the way there and had a couple of pounds of silverfish. And not to brag, but if we've been in a match, oh it's just here. If it'd been in a match, I would have beaten. <laughs> yes! Oh, another one! Ooh. Is it a bigger one? No. Oh, I can see it. A little roach? Yes. Oh, a bit of a bear one. Ah! That could be a roach bream hybrid. Looking a little bit breamy, that one. I'm going to say that's a roach bream hybrid. Oh, right, let's go that. Hybrid. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Would you like a tiny plastic? Hang on. Yeah! <laughs> You got your one more fish. <laughs> well, with that, I think we're going to call it a day. <laughs> it's half five. We started at three, so we've had two and a half hours. And we've caught three roach, a roach bream hybrid, and that massive perch. So I really can't complain. What do you think, Stan? He is asleep. He is asleep. <laughs> <laughs>
So let's get a successful it. first trip. Exactly. <sighs> Yay! Another half hour. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Awake. Stanley! Yeah, there we go. What do you think then, little Stan? You enjoy your first day fishing? <laughs> he is absolutely took it out. <laughs> well, there we go. Can't believe I got to take my son fishing. And uh, yeah, he's only been alive a week. Well, only been uh, out here for a week, shall we say. But yeah, what a great day. We caught what? Three, four roach, a roach beam hybrid, and then that massive canal perch i'm pretty sure that is my personal best canal perch and yeah what a way to catch it with my little lad there and sophie ah brilliant yeah <laughs> only fish for about two and a half hours so we'll call it a day now get ourselves home and uh yeah i hope hope you enjoyed it i thought this is how i'm gonna introduce stanley to you like i have to do it on the bank i can't just go around the house like oh look at him and oh, ah, just, not my bad let's get out there let's get doing it yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more to come and I'll see you next time.